Hey guys, this is Jason Barton, and we are back in Lee County, Virginia. And today we plan on hiking up to White Rock and Sand Cave. Uh, it's about a, I think it's about a seven or eight mile round trip, so it's going to be a, a several hour trip. Trailhead's really nice. Uh, you can see this informational signs. It's got a nice little place to uh, use the restroom, uh, even a little picnic shelter up here on the hill. Uh, but anyway, here we go. All right, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over to the sand cave first. And then we're going to take the ridge trail, I believe, over to White Rocks. So this kind of gives you an idea. Uh, no bicycles or cowboys apparently allowed on this trail. So here we go. The trail itself is very maintained. It looks pretty heavily traveled. We've passed uh, two sets of people so far, or yet they've passed us, I should say. <laughs> anyway, one of the cool features of the trail, just these giant rock formations that you'll see. Another thing I wanted to point out on this trail are these big bottom trees. As we know, they make the rock and world go round. So there's that. Here's something to always be aware of while you're hiking. You can see this humongous uh, oak tree, I believe, and it's leaning over the road. And you probably can't see from the video, but the only thing that's holding this tree from falling is a very small limb about the size of my arm. And you can look right here and tell this thing is ready to fall any second now. You can basically see all the way through it, underneath of it. There's nothing holding it up at all. It's leaning directly over the trail. So just be aware of those types of things can't pass up a grapevine. Somebody's already cut it. You can tell they've been swinging on it, so I'm going to test it a little bit. feels pretty good. Let's see if we can get a swing off of it. <laughs> Crap! Okay. Scarier than I thought it was. All right, we're taking a little break here. This is the first time you can see really these big cliff faces, as you can see behind me, they're beautiful. These are the same cliff faces you can see when you're driving down on the road in Lee County. Um, it's also a good place to stop for a rest and get some first aid for the, from swinging on grapevines. So, <laughs> summer's leg, first tick of the year. So, ticks are out. I think today's the second day of spring, so. Guys, watch out for ticks. Always like to do drinks on the mountain Woo! Ice cold. We're a little over an hour into the hike here. And we come up to the uh, White Rocks foot trail, 0.2 miles up that way. And once again, no cowboys allowed. Looks like they have a, I guess, a hitching post slash no horse entry uh, built here. So anyway, let's go on up to the sand cave. Okay, we made it to the ridge trail. So it looks like that sand cave is about uh, less than half a mile out that way. White Rocks is uh, a little over a mile or a little under a mile past that. Um, it looks like the trail to Hensley Settlement is closed off. Um, there was a sign at the trailhead that said due to storm damage, the, that trail will be closed uh, until I guess it's repaired. So just in case, but um, 
We're going to head on out, see if we can make it on out to the sand cave. Almost there. I see the sand. Like, I don't know how someone actually found this place. It's crazy to think about. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow, I can't believe it. It almost looks tropical. It's hard on the video to uh, show you how big this place is. So I'm just going to kind of walk up through here. And that'll give you a perspective on how big it is. It's kind of steep as you walk up the sand. So I'm going to walk up through here and show you guys. All right, guys, I'm actually in the sand cave right now at the top, and it is amazing. I don't know if you can see down at the bottom. There's a couple of people down there standing, so you can kind of get a feel for how far it is down there. But we'll walk around here, check out some of the inside of this cave. guys we just came from the sand cave and as you can tell from this sign it was about 0.8 miles back on the trail we came real beautiful pretty level trail that went back around the mountain we haven't uh, walked the same trail twice it's kind of a loop trail uh, it's 0.3 miles out to the white rocks overlook so I can't wait to get out there um, and this is the way we'll go back to Ewing trail it's 2.8 miles back to uh, the trailhead back down here when we get down to the overlook so we'll check it out this is really awesome we're up here almost at the overlook 
you can see these huge boulders, cliff faces. And it looks like the trail goes between these two big boulders. So let's check it out. Well, this is awesome. This is pretty steep. We're kind of climbing up like a little wet culvert going up through here. It's really neat though. All right, guys, this looks like the big reveal, I hope. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ah, we made it. Here we are guys, White Rock. This valley is beautiful. Check out these rocks. Weather worn. Okay guys, if you've ever wondered what the cliff face looks like up close from Lee County, this is it. This is White Rock, part of Cumberland Gap National Park. We have spent a pretty good day hiking up through here. I just wanna show you this this cliff face is monstrous. It's got to be a couple hundred feet high, which is actually where I'm standing as well. I'm not completely sure, but I think you can see where we parked at from here. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. There's a little bitty building right down there, and I think that's the bathroom beside of it. Clouds are gorgeous today. I mean, I don't think we could have picked a better day to come up here. It's about 60 degrees or so, perfect for hiking. I'm going to show you the actual rocks here as we walk along. This trail, I would say, is maybe an intermediate. There's definitely some climbing and very slick spots. Definitely need a really good pair of hiking shoes or boots. And then up here, I mean, you can just see what you kind of have to crawl across to get over to where we're at. Step across these little culverts. Woo! Let me show you guys a straight down picture here. I sure don't want to drop my phone, but that is way, way down there. If you're afraid of heights, this is not the place for you. One of the prettiest places I've ever been. Very strenuous hike to get up here. As a matter of fact, you can kind of see all the switchbacks are part of them. Of the trail that we were on. It's really neat how the clouds are shadowing the valley. You can see the shadow of the cloud here, and there, and over there. Ewing up the road here in Rose Hill. Jones will not far away. We made it back. <clears throat> so we made a complete loop up one way. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. This is 0.2 miles, but it really felt like 
2230. We're on our way back down the Ewing Trail. And just to kind of give you a sense of where we were at 30 minutes ago, um, the view that we were looking at was from the top of that cliff right there. So it's definitely a pretty big ascend on this hike, but definitely worth it. I know you guys saw me drink out of the uh, little creek earlier, but let me show you where that water is coming from. As you can see, no water anywhere. This is a natural spring, so it's coming right out from underneath the ground, right here. Look at that, that's amazing. We made it back, guys. Seven and a half hours later and 10 miles. Uh, of course, when I say seven and a half hours, that wasn't all hiking time. We spent a lot of time, you know, shooting the videos and looking at trees and swinging on grapevines. And uh, we probably spent an hour up on uh, White Rock just talking about how beautiful it was and exploring some areas. So it's an all day trip if you decide to come up this way, but I highly recommend it. I will say that it was a pretty strenuous hike. Um, there was a lot of places that was uh, very slippery and slick. Um, some places are muddy. There's a couple of streams you had to cross. Um, nothing major, but you know, appreciate you guys going along with us today on our hike to Sand Cave, which was absolutely amazing, and to White Rock, which give the best view I've probably ever seen. Uh, it's just amazing to see. Um, I highly recommend it. And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're uh, on here and share this video. Appreciate you guys. Have a good day.